Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I get my US visa twice. So as an Indonesian passport holder, I could only go to 39 countries. So before I fly to another country, I really have to double check on Wikipedia when I need to apply for a visa to visit another country. In 2017, I received my J1 visa, which is an exchange visitor to teach study and receive training that was valid for a year and then in 2021 which was last month i got my b1 b2 visa that valid for five years if you're here want to know more about how i got us visa twice what other additional documents she need to have and what questions they ask me during the interview please keep on watching so number one, the first thing you have to do before you can apply for a US visa is you have to make an account through US Embassy website and after that you get to choose what kind of visa you need in order to enter the US. After you set up an account, then you get to fill up a non-immigrant US visa or what you call as DS-190. This application will pretty much ask you about detailed information about yourself and your family. This application is pretty much easy to fill up but also can be tricky. So you have to make sure that any questions you enter are valid or true and then be careful to always double check the answers before you submit because it is not changeable. Number three, after you fill up the DS-190 and before you can set up an appointment, you have to pay the visa through their bank account. So there are two options that you can do. The first one is to go directly to the bank or the other one by using electronic fund transfer or EFT. Since I did my payment through EFT, then I needed to wait for three days until I can set up an interview appointment. So those are the steps on how you can apply for DS-190 until you can set up an interview appointment. Now we move to the most challenging part that is to prepare for the documents. For this one, you have to pay really good attention on the documents that you're going to bring in order to prove them that you have a strong tie to be back to your own country. So it doesn't matter if you have a lot of money in your bank account, but you don't have a proof. You have a strong tie to be back to your home country that most of the time they will reject your application so again make sure that you have all the documents you need in order to show them that you have a strong bond to be back to your own country so for a b1 b2 visa my boyfriend and his parents are sponsoring me so basically they are going to take financial responsibility during my trip in the u.s if you're unable to finance a trip by yourself you might consider to have sponsor by your friends or relative who is living in the US and who is able to pay for your trip and also to take legal responsibility. If you're thinking about applying for a US visa but you're still unsure about how to proceed, you can book a free consultation with me to see if you have a change at being accepted. We move to the most exciting part that is the interview. This can be really, really, really scary for you if you are not preparing for this one. I am sure that a lot, lot, lot of you are wondering on what questions that they usually ask during their interview. So, in my experience, um, when I got the interview for getting my B1, B2 and also J1 visa, all they wanted to know was how strong my tie to be back to my country so make sure every questions they ask you you have to relate it to how strong your tie to be back to you or your home country so again if you're thinking about applying for an american tourist visa but still unsure about how to proceed you can book a free consultation with me to see if you have a chance at being accepted so i think these are the most important things that you have to pay attention before you apply for us visa until the interview so thank you guys so much for watching if you have any comments you have any question please write down here below or on my instagram see you